Hello there, my name is Bobby Gibson and I'm a projection designer here at Hale Center Theater in Sandy. And lately we've actually been getting a lot of questions on social about these boots. So these boots are actually in a show called Patsy Cline, or Always Patsy Cline. And there are just about 100 of these boots in this show. Our set designer, Jen, decided she wanted to put these boots in around the proscenium. And as we were talking in our production meetings, we decided that we wanted to projection map them. And so in this case right here, you see some of them that are actually um, projection mapped here, and then some that are not. These, these squares actually have lights on them, so they'll just shine a traditional light. And then these ones are actually projection mapped. So every other one is a light and then projection. And today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how we made this projection work. Projection mapping itself is essentially telling the projector to only project in certain areas. And so in this show, we use a projector to project precisely on the boots. And there's a couple of things that we need to be able to do that. Um, so this is actually inside of Blender. Um, this is the first one here, and this is kind of a geometrical representation of the boot. As you can see, it accounts for the curvature of the boot and kind of all the little ins and outs of the boot. And each of these points represents a different kind of shaping model to that boot. So that actually tells the computer what to use as a screen. And then from there, we have this other one that's called a UV map over here. And imagine if you were to take a straight line and project it onto a curved or a cylinder, it's not going to keep its straightness of the line, it's actually going to curve a little bit with that uh, cylinder. So this UV map is what tells the computer to account for the curvature of the boot. From there, we're going to take some, um, some simple animations, and in this case you can see what the animation looks like beforehand and kind of as it comes out of After Effects. And then on this side you can actually see what it looks like when it's applied to the boot surface itself. These ones are actually just done for visual visualization so that we can get a feel for what it's going to look like as we're planning the show. So once we have our animation done, we have that OBJ file, which is our geometric representation, and we have our UV map. We plug them into the media server here. Um, at Hale Center Theater, we actually use Disguise Media Server. And so as you can see, the different boots are right here on the screen. And what we've done is we've mapped these out in a digital space and aligned it with where the projector projects into the physical space. And so each of those OBJ files become one of these boots. And then each of those uh, UV maps actually tell the computer how to work with those boots. And so from there, we plug them in and we time them to the different songs that are in the show. There's 26 different songs from Patsy Cline in this show, and many of them have boot animation inside of them. So projection mapping has been used in theater for a long time, but it's also continuing to just get better and better and become more robust. We had a lot of fun with the projection mapping in this show. Um, Patsy Cline is coming up this weekend to its closing day, so we're sad to see the show go. Congratulations to all of the people who had a part in this show, the cast and the crew. It's been a wonderful show. And make sure that you log on to hct.org to check out Secret Garden, which is coming up, as well as Mousetrap.